What's going on guys? We have a ton of entertainment and gaming news, including Spider-Man teaming up with a strange new partner. Additionally, the PlayStation 5 teardown was earlier this week. Mark has the complete details on that and how it compares to the Xbox Series X. Let's get into it right now. <laughs> That's right guys, according to Hollywood Reporter, Benedict Cumberbatch will be joining Spider-Man 3 cast as Doctor Strange, the Sorcerer Supreme, comes to Spider-Man. According to Hollywood Reporter, this move will go ahead and put Cumberbatch in the mentor role that was previously occupied by Robert Downey Jr.'s Tony Stark and Samuel L. Jackson's Nick Fury. This also opens up a wide range of possibilities the fact that we could see a Spider-Verse live-action film. Doctor Strange, you know how he is the Sorcerer Supreme, and the previous Spider-Man movie already hinted at the multiverse. There's no doubt that this is the route that they're planning on taking in the next Spider-Man film. Additionally, and spoiler alert for those who haven't seen Spider-Man Far From Home yet, and if you haven't, turn off this video right now and go watch it. At the end of the film, Peter Parker's identity was revealed to everybody, and I'm guessing that Peter is more than likely looking to change that history, and I'm guessing that Doctor Strange will have a lot to do with that. I can't wait to see what goes down in the next Spider-Man movie, far from something. Perhaps far from multiverse? Far from universe? Far from something for sure, but it's going to be outstanding. Benedict Cumberbatch? Welcome to Spider-Man. This is going to be freaking great. Can't wait. Moving on to a little bit of PlayStation news here. And this news is absolutely insane. It blew my mind whenever I saw the headline. Now, this is according to PlayStation Universe. The PlayStation 5 pre-orders have reportedly accounted for 72% of next-gen pre-orders here in the United States. 72%. Wow. Now, this study was conducted by VGM. Now, this was taken during September 23rd through September 25th this year among 511 US-based candidates. The survey apparently found that 15% of people managed to grab a pre-order for a next-gen console, and of those individuals, 72% of them went for the PlayStation 5 Disc Edition, 30% went for the Xbox Series X, and 10% jumped on the PS5 Digital Edition, while a mere 8% selected the Xbox Series S. Furthermore, the data states that 29% of the respondents said that they were unable to purchase a pre-order for a next-gen console when they were given the chance, with about 58% having attempted to pre-order the PS5 Standard Edition. The Xbox Series X it went ahead and took 40%, and the PS5 Digital Only Edition had 21% of people unsuccessfully trying to pre-order, and the Xbox Series S, well, it came up in the rear, of course, again, with 11%. This news should really surprise nobody. I'm honestly not surprised by this at all. If you guys remember, the PlayStation 5 was damn near impossible to obtain. Everyone was trying to get their hands on it, and sure enough, as you can see, it was the most sought-after next-gen console. Wow, just amazing statistics there. And speaking of the PlayStation 5, I think Mark has the news on the PlayStation 5 teardown and how it relates to the Xbox Series X. I'm gonna swing it on over to you, Mark. What you got, bro? Thanks, Al. All of my stories are coming from the website I write for, PlayStation Universe. So let's just jump right into it. First of which, the PlayStation 5 is using faster Wi-Fi and faster USBs than the Xbox Series X. It's a small detail, but in the grand scheme of things, the PlayStation 5 being the faster console, it's another check mark. It's going to be faster Wi-Fi, so if you have the internet, faster downloads, and faster at charging your controllers, and relaying information to controllers and headsets that are wired. All right, so continuing on with some PlayStation news. It seems like PlayStation is launching later this month a brand new PlayStation Store for the PC and mobile. This is going to replace what's already there, and it's actually going to remove the ability to download content to legacy systems. This is including PS3, PSP, PS Vita, and also PS4. It's weird. I'm not really sure why they're doing this. We may get a chance to see what the new PS5 Store will look like when the new update and new app comes out, but other than that, I'm not really sure why they're doing this other than they want you to get games on the PS5 
All right, and the final piece of news today is near and dear to my heart, and it's PlayStation trophies. They have gotten a complete revamp. It doesn't look like it on the outside, but especially when PS5 comes out, it's going to look massively different. They have completely renumbered all of the PlayStation trophies. So bronze trophies, which would only get you so many, I think it was like 25 experience before, now get you a much larger white range of experience. And this is also increasing your trophy level. So I was at 35 and now I'm right around 440. It's a crazy change. It's a different look to trophies. Everything has three tiers. As of right now, I'm technically, my level is silver too. And the more trophies you get, the higher your trophy level will go like normal. It's just a more concise goal that you're trying to get to. The highest you can go at the moment is 999. It's the platinum level. So it's a very welcome change and during the PlayStation 5 era to actually be able to see how many items you're missing in certain trophies. So let's say you're collecting 50 things, it'll tell you how many things you have left to collect, which is a huge, huge advantage over what it's currently in the, the PS4, PS3, and PS Vita. So it's a very welcome change, as a change that I'm very excited about, and we wanna know what your trophy levels are. All right, awesome stuff. Thanks so much for that, Mark. That's some really interesting information when it comes down to the PlayStation trophies and how they're broken down and how the formula actually works. Good information there. Thanks for providing that. If you guys enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Smash that like button and subscribe for more as we do videos like this quite often. Additionally, if you want to get notified for whenever a new video gets published, be sure to click on the bell. We produce videos quite often, so that way you get notified whenever a new one gets pushed out. As far as Mark, make sure you follow Mark over on PlayStation Universe. He's writing up a ton of articles over there. Additionally, if you want to follow him on Twitter, you can at LostHeroes13. I'm A to the P. Albert Perkins, and you, well, looks like you just got wrapped up. We'll see you guys in the next one. Until next time, and as always, peace.